Ever opened a document and instantly felt dread? Cluttered text, confusing structures, or just a page that makes you yawn? With Canva, you can create a doc you actually want to work in. This lesson will teach you how to create docs that work hard and look good, whether you're writing a lesson plan or a campaign brief. And because we're in the visual suite, we'll start seeing how all the different formats work together in one design. Canva docs are super versatile. You can create reports, project plans, policy docs, proposals, training manuals, anything where ideas need to be organised. Today we'll use the example of a campaign brief for a little company called Byte, but these tips will help you no matter what the project is on your to-do list. Start on the Canva homepage, where you can see the whole visual suite. Select the doc icon. In the design tab, search for a campaign brief OK, I like this one. It's a scrollable doc, one of my favourite formats. Below the important details, we have this dynamic and engaging section where you can scroll through some of the creative content. Doc templates come with placeholder copy, so I'll add in relevant details for our campaign. I'll start by updating the banner. Let's change the background colour and font to align with our brand. I'll rename the document and use the brand kit panel to drop in the logo quickly. I'll align the copy and graphics and press save when it's looking good. Updating the typography styling is a quick way to align the document with our brand. Select a headline and apply styles from your brand kit. When you select Change All, it'll apply the changes to the whole doc. As we can see here, the headings and subheadings in this template create a clear hierarchy, ensuring the content is easy to read. OK, so things are feeling pretty clean and organised now. We've got the start of a strong brief. Let's add some more details to the beginning of the doc. With this Quick Actions button, we can add a date and a drop-down list for the status of the project. Let's add a table with the project team. Now we can add our colleagues here to make it really easy to collaborate. To keep things clean, let's add a divider. You can also create clarity with page breaks. Find them in quick commands or use this shortcut. Let's make things easier to read by turning these paragraphs into bullet points, like this. Now I'll add in a chart from an audience survey. Select Elements, then select Bar Chart. I'll add a comment and tag my colleagues so they can fill in this chart. An easy way to collaborate and get this doc wrapped up. OK, say you've got the basics of a brief worked out. How about getting some help from AI-powered tools to help develop this doc? I'll run you through them now. Let's use Magic Write and add in some key messaging for the campaign. Select Magic Write and add in a prompt. Great. Now at Canva AI, we'll start writing. That sounds great to me. Let's ensure we're using our brand tone of voice while we're at it, like this. Here's another cool hack. We're an international team, so let's get some support with that. Let's translate the campaign message we generated earlier.
tap magic switch and use our Canva Pro Translate feature. We always recommend asking someone on your team who speaks the language to check over the translations. But in seconds, you've taken this brief global. In the final doc, let's add the finishing touches. Worried about accidental typos? Fix it like this. Now let's add in a final photo for inspiration. Use the brand kit to select an image that works with the doc. Let's say you're really happy with your briefing doc. Clear, on brand, enhanced with AI. Say the next step is sharing this with the wider team, then maybe doing a specific presentation to fill in the creative team. The most exciting and sometimes scary part of the creative process. Here's where you'd normally have to switch platforms. With the Visual Suite, we can do all that in one place. All you have to do is tap share. You can set permissions to let your team edit, comment or view. You can also set approvals, select reviews, add your due date, and write comments. To share it as a website, you can just hit publish here. You can also download your doc as a PDF or Word doc. If you select File, you can see the version history. Prefer an old version or accidentally deleted an idea you want to keep? Just tap Restore and get your work back. Sometimes your first idea is the best one. Finally, let's move this doc into our campaign folder, like this. The Visual Suite is all about keeping your workflow flexible and moving as quickly as your ideas do. Setting up the next stage of a campaign is super simple. Let's grab another file we've worked on. It's something the team will keep referring back to, so it's good to have it all in the same doc. We'll need to go to Projects, search for the file name, and we can just embed it right here. We can also add new design types straight from here. Just tap this plus, and we can add in a whiteboard for the creatives to start brainstorming. We'll look at whiteboards in more detail in another lesson. With a Visual Suite, you can keep all these designs together. Beginning with a clear creative doc like this will get any project off to a great start. Whether you're creating a campaign, setting students a task, or planning your content as an entrepreneur. And with the Visual Suite, you've already got the next steps set out for you. And we're only just getting started. See you next time.